If you want them to make videos, the first thing you'll need is footage, and to get that you'll need to record stuff. We're going to cover all sorts, including game capture, software and voiceovers. But first, what if you want to shoot out in the real world? Well, you've probably heard this to death, but I'm going to say it anyways. To a reasonable extent, it does not matter what equipment you use. When I was recording Origami and Rubik's Cube's videos back in 2014, I used to borrow my mum's phone, cut a hole out of a big bit of cardboard and balance it on top of two stacks of books in order to get the angle that I wanted. On a real note, it's not about the recording equipment you have, it's what you make with it. At the end of the day, the content matters more than anything. You can literally use the phone in your pocket, or probably whatever you're watching this video on, to get footage. Life's too short to worry about materialism and having the best of the best. Don't worry about some guy who just bought a 300 quid DSLR with 4K resolution. You don't need any of that. In any case, he's the fool for just wasting money. Unless you have an Android, in which case you should you should probably invest. One bit of advice is to think about your edits before you start recording. And at this point, if you're not too worried about edits, then it's cool. I've got a video all about that coming up. Ideally, whatever you do choose to record with, you should aim to pick the highest resolution available so that you have full flexibility when you do actually come to edit. If you can choose between different aspect ratios, 16 by 9 is most universal for YouTube videos. Uh, it works on pretty much everything, so that's usually the default that you would record in. But if you can't do that, we can just fix that in editing. Also, try to record in the most versatile format you can, either MP4, WMV, whatever. Um, if you're recording on a phone, you probably don't need to worry about all that stuff because the best settings are already going to be chosen for you. When you film, DIY is your friend. If you need this specific angle or a specific shot, then use what you have around you. And if you're not on a budget, feel free to invest in tripods, softbox lights, whatever you need. For my videos, in case you're interested, I am using the Logitech C920 webcam, which I have for a long, long time. It is 60 quid, which is pretty expensive, but compared to some cameras out there, it's dirt cheap, especially insane value for money as well, and a solid investment. And for out and about, I use... It was on the tripod because I made the thumbnail before I started recording the video. So I use this Sony Cybershot DSC HX50, which, um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but it's it's light, compact, more reliable, and it's never let us down. For audio, there's a bunch of options available. If you're going to be using a webcam, you can pair it with a budget USB mic that just lets you plug and play, like the Blue Snowball Ice that I'm currently using. If you're out and about with a point and shoot or a mirrorless, maybe think about getting a shotgun mic or one of them road ripoffs. You can also spend a bit more and get handheld recorders like the Tascam and Zoom series that let you record audio separately of very high quality, which you can just sync later in editing. Lav mics are also great and really versatile because you can just set them up really easily to your phone and just sync them up later as well. So some phone audios are surprisingly pretty good on their own, but the lav mic is always a solid option. The important thing is to spend your time doing your research, because you want to get the best deals you can, not waste too much money, but also get a pretty good sound quality. Now for all my gamers slash media people slash anyone who wants to record the screens. A bunch of different softwares are available, the best known ones are stuff like OBS, Fraps, Bandicam, Mirrorless Action, DX Tori. Even the videos inbuilt recording feature can do the trick. I just do not want to be seeing any of that. If you want to record console though, it might be a bit trickier and I've got no experience on it, but your best bet is to go for either a capture card or any in-game recording feature that you have. Now, some of these softwares are limited to a trial unless you pay, but um, let's just say there are um, ways to uh, crack the system. <clears throat> Anyways, for these settings you want the resolution to ideally be about 720p and above and then for frame rate 30 fps is solid and then any higher is even better. Aspect ratio should again be 16 by 9 but can be fixed in editing. Other options like codecs and colour processing are different for each bit of software so you will have to do your research and figure out what settings combine best for the video that you're making. And that's pretty much all you need to know to record your own video. In other videos I'll be running through editing and branding but this should give you a good idea on how to start off making videos. Please let me know if you learned something or enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.